46, jump, a hell ball. I mean, the arrow's pointing in Duke's direction. That's a great defensive play by Billy King. He just grabbed the ball. Mike Krzyzewski looking up and down his bench. He picks on Jay Billis. Callaway just got himself tied up. But King anticipated very well what Callaway was going to try to do. I think that's first and ten. A fresh Jay Billis replaces a somewhat tired David Henderson. So Virginia's lineup, or Duke's lineup rather, looks like this now. Tommy Amaker, Billy King, Jay Billis, Mark Gallery, and Johnny Dawkins. Duke is not very deep. Duke has better depth than they've had in the last couple years, but they're not very deep, and Virginia has attacked. Now that Duke's attacking inside, drawing the foul on Colonies, but Virginia has attacked very successfully inside. You've got Allery with three, you've got Billis with three, you've got uh, Perry with four. Jay Billis, nice catch, good fake, creates a, some room for himself with that fake, and then gets fouled by Colonies. Two-shot foul coming up for Jay Billis. A couple of field goals today. That's only two fouls on Old Colony, so he's in good shape in that direction. So Virginia has attacked successfully inside, put some pressure on the Duke inside game, but Duke hasn't been able to turn it around and do the same thing. Calm at the moment, but it has not always been that way today for Coach K of Duke. Virginia's front line outscoring the Duke front line 23 to 19. Of course, 17 of those 23 have come from Tom Sheehy. Well, Virginia winning the war in the trenches right now. Callaway puts a bear hug on the ball. Boy, Billy King got off his feet that time. He can't do that. Very well. Colony's got an open court. Now to Johnny Johnson. He faked the lob, goes to the paint, puts it up around and in. He just took Dawkins one-on-one -on -one and whipped it. Uh, he tried to throw the lob, and I think he'd have got the lob, but Jay Billis just backed Callaway out of the way. He didn't have any place to throw the ball. 